I've got something really exciting to show you. You ready? There it is. There is Caleb Pike's Camera Foundry XLR handle Cine back. I've had the FX3 ever since it came out, which was, I think around April of 2021. Let's see, ah, it was February. So February 23rd of 2021. I've had it since the spring of 2021 and I've loved it. It's my go-to camera. I've got that and I'm recording on the A1 right now. One big reason I wanted to get this rig and I've been excited ever since Caleb introduced this because I had to get the XLR handle kit and the Cine back. So it's two kits. You don't just get the XLR kit. You get the Cine back XLR handle kit, which I actually got that first because they were sold out of the regular Cine back. But I just got both of them in. They ended up coming in within two or three days of each other. So I just put it together. I've only used it two times and I'm in love with it. I wanted it to be a little heavier. It was always a little too light. And I also would have to switch batteries every so often. And I like the top handle when you only have the handle and the camera and maybe a monitor. I would always put a monitor on top right here. It just isn't heavy enough. And when the camera isn't heavy enough, you end up with some micro jitters. Do we call this a cinema rig? I don't really care what you call it. I just like it. I know a lot of people talk about the FX3 not having internal ND filters. The whole idea that this is called a cinema camera gets a lot of people's feathers ruffled, but I just like the camera. For what I do, this is my favorite camera. I like this, I shoot on this in the A1. I'm probably gonna get an FX6 eventually. I was hoping that an FX6 Mark II would come out. Probably not, who knows, it may come out tomorrow. I have no idea. But I really wanted something really sturdy and heavy because I like holding the camera like this, documentary style. And it wasn't heavy enough whenever I had just the camera there, but this just, it looks sexy, it feels sexy. It's really, really durable. This handle, right here feels like it's part of the camera and we've got the d-tap connectors right here i've got the small rig battery i've got the 50 watt hour i've also got a 99 watt hour this lasts me a good two to three hours running the ninja 5 i'm looking at the ninja 5 right now that's why it's not on here but i've got this little nifty condor blue quick release and i just here i'll show you we'll just put this sucker slide it up wrong way Boom, it's on. And that's how I roll right there. And we can power that sucker with this D-tap right here. This D-tap, so I've got a battery in there now, but you get the idea. And I've got this little D-tap Condor Blue, which Condor Blue says that this is rated to distribute the voltage. I'm not really into the whole nerdy voltage stuff, but I was assured that this would not damage my camera and so far we're fine. Caleb also has on his website and on YouTube how to build both rigs, whether it's the XLR handle or if you don't get the XLR handle and you just get the normal cine back. So the normal cine back comes with this top cheese plate sitting on top. But if I wanted to take this handle off, if the XLR handle comes off, all I have to do is put the other half right here on top and then we can roll with whatever top handle we want more cinema style if i don't have the xlr handle and before when i would put my hand under here let's say i wanted to go manual style so that i could focus i didn't really have a lot of meat right here to grab and now i do and i can even push this up against my hip to keep it more steady hold this top handle very light you know i'm not gripping real tight so that i don't get those micro jitters and it just works. Plus I have IBIS in the FX3, and that's another reason why I wasn't too crazy about getting the FX6 right now. It doesn't have IBIS. I know that it's a great camera, but I really like to get the Burano, but the Burano is $25,000. I can't afford that camera right now. So we're gonna just roll with this setup and the A1. I film weddings, I film MMA videos, and this is the perfect setup for everything that I'm doing. When I do film the architectural videos and the real estate videos, that's when I pull the gimbal out. But most of the time, I just like pulling this out of the bag 
and being able to shoot within the next five minutes and not take a lot of time and effort on the setup part. Now I can put this in a bag and just pull it out and go. Maybe I take the microphone off and put it in my backpack so it doesn't get messed up. But the bag that I have, I have this Manfrotto bag. Oh, I'll show you. All right, I just got this. This is brand new. I, I didn't do an unboxing or anything. This isn't sponsored. I can put a link down in the bottom, but. Oh shoot, this is fantastic. Look at all that room. All right, so, I mean, even if I wanted to leave the microphone on there, I can. And then I can do this and keep my camera from moving around. Check this out. <laughs> See, I don't have another, my, my other camera's in there. Look at that. So my camera fits real nice and snug right there with the mic on. So now when I get to where I'm going, I just pull this sucker out and then whenever I get to my spot, we're ready to go. All right, so Caleb did a really, really fantastic job on this. All of the screws, bolts, they feel really, really good. It feels expensive. Nothing on this rig feels cheap. And I've got the 99 watt hour small rig V-mount battery. These are smaller V-mounts, but here's the 50 watt hour, here's the 99. You see the difference right there. So when you have this on there, I bet it still fits in my bag. Look at that. So there's with the larger battery. I love this little pocket for the flippy screen. So you can open it if you need to do anything or just keep it there on the side. If it's on the tripod, I can come by and do a touch focus if I need to do anything like that. I have access to all of these buttons. So if I need to hit the menu button, boom, right there. If I need to hit mode, boom, right there. Everything is still accessible. Let's put the map box on here. I've got the Polar Pro base camp, the first one. I don't have the second one. There we go, there it is with the map box. A pretty sexy camera i like it this is my running gun go-to camera i'll use the matte box for the nds for now i love the battery because i can power this and my monitor and anything else that i want to put on here if i decide to put a follow focus or something like that so i'm really pleased with it i spent the money and i don't feel bad about it if you have an fx3 or fx30 and you're thinking about it and you have the money, I would say do it. You won't regret it. It just feels so good in the hands. Like this feels great. Look at this. When you put the Atomos Ninja dummy battery on here, it's it takes up way less space than this battery. So if you wanted to put this all the way down, you can. So you could tilt a little bit more with the dummy battery. But here it is, this is how I roll. Right here, it feels really good. It's it's heavy, but a good heavy. It's not too heavy. It's just the right amount of weight that you want. This, this entire handle feels like one unit. Nothing's loose. There's nothing shaky, nothing's wobbling. So that's all I've got. Just a quick recap of the scene back with the XLR handle. I haven't seen too many videos out there yet with the handle. I don't think a lot of people have the handle kit yet. It just started shipping not too long ago. I think this might be the second batch. Check out the link in the description. Thank you, Caleb Pike, for making this. I'm having a lot of fun shooting this way. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. right here, boom, we're live, we are on, and that powers all of these D-taps. I guarantee if you show up with this, everybody in the room says, man, he knows what he's doing.